Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? In this video, we're diving deep into QQQ. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 5th of June, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 3rd, 2024, our system has ranked QQQ as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 3.14. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 6.44%. This translates to an average return of 0.28% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 3.03% change over the next three months, with a possible return between negative 6.30% and 3.03%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 27.86% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 12.21% and 31.95%. This translates to a price range of $520.13 to $611.64 after a year. Our latest daily update for QQQ includes the headline, Stronger Technical Forecast for QQQ ETF Price After Wednesday Trading. The QQQ ETF price gained 2.02% on the last trading day, Wednesday, 5th June 2024, rising from $454.37 to $463.53. It has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day, the ETF fluctuated 2.03% from a day low at $454.41 to a day high of $463.61. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 1.7% gain for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and in total, 10 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 33 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $15 and $44 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of ETF was $463.61, and the lowest price was $342.35. Currently, the price is 0.02%, or $0.08, cents, below the 52-week high of $463.61, which is also the all-time high for ETF. The following signals have been identified for QQQ. The QQQ ETF holds buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $455.63 and $441.37. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, April 19, 2024, and so far it has risen 11.79%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence, MAD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving Average Convergence Divergence, Sell Signal, Pivots, Buy Signal 33 Days Ago, 
Bollinger, buy signal one day ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal two days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 24 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 19 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 24 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 25 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 135 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for QQ On the downside, the ETF finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $439.02 and $433.92. There is a natural risk involved when an ETF is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the ETF then may fall to the next support level. In this case, QQQ finds support just below today's level at $439.02. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $433.92 and $414.65. In general, the ETF tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity, the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the ETF moved $9.20 between high and low, or 2.03%. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 1.61%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for QQQ, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A relatively low PE ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for QQQ. There is no significant resistance from accumulated volume above which indicates that the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, QQQ encounters its first support level at $439.02. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $446.38 a decrease of 3.70%. This ETF has low daily movements, offering lower risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom identified 51 days ago. Is QQ ETF a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive, and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for QQQ ETF to perform well in the short term. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this ETF since the last evaluation from a hold accumulate to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, June 6th, we expect QQQ to open down $3.01 and start trading at $460.52. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.